In this video, I will show you how to migrate host pools from WVD Classic, also known as the Fall 2019 release, to WVD, which is the Spring 2020 ARM update. So in the Nerdio Manager, first thing you want to double check is that you are in hybrid mode, which means you're seeing both workspaces and WVD tenants. If not, you can set this on the settings Nerdio environment page. You'd want to make sure that you switch over to hybrid mode right here. And then if you go to the WVD tenants page, you will see there is a button on the bottom that says migrate to ARM. Uh, if you click this button, it will allow you to select a source host pool that you want to migrate. So in this case, let's go ahead and select uh, a host pool called, uh, let's pick the one that says executives. Then you would choose your destination workspace. This is the ARM workspace that you will need to create in advance. It may be empty to start with. You can then choose the name of the host pool. By default, it is going to use the same name, but if you want to change it, you can do that as well. Then you choose what to do with user assignments. So you have three options here. You can either copy the existing user assignments from the classic executives host pool to the new ARM host pool. You can move those assignments, which means users will be assigned to the destination and unassigned from the source or you can choose to not copy or move these assignments at all. So let's go ahead. In this case, we're going to choose copy because I want users to be able to see both host pools at the same time. And then if you were to click the migrate button, this would create a new host pool in this destination workspace and copy all of the existing settings, including the user assignments. It would copy um, you know, all the WVD settings, all the auto scale settings, uh, all the app groups and user assignments, everything about this host pool would be identical to the newly created destination host pool. However, what it would not do is it will not move any of the existing session host VMs from the source to the destination. And if we want to actually move those VMs, what you would need to do is click on migrate VMs. This will open up another section here that you can configure. First thing you're asked is how many hosts to process in a group. So if you have lots of hosts, you may not want to do this one host at a time. You may want to process them in a bigger batch. So let's imagine we have 10 hosts in this host pool. I may want to do the migration five hosts at a time. You can then specify how many failures can be tolerated before aborting the process. If something goes wrong during the migration process, you don't want the system to try and run it on the remaining hosts because it may fail there as well. So the system lets you specify something like a one or two failures. Uh, and, and after those are encountered, the process will stop and, and alert you. Then you can click migrate at this stage, in which case any users who are logged in to any of these existing hosts will be asked to log off. They will get this message that you can configure and you'll be able to specify how long of a delay to give these users to log off. If you were to turn off the messaging option, then the migration process would begin immediately. And the migration process entails the following. The WVD agent, which is currently installed on these session hosts, would first be uninstalled and they would be removed from the source classic host pool in WVD fall release. Then the WVD agent for the ARM version of WVD would be installed and the hosts would be registered to the destination host pool during the installation of that WVD agent. So again, clicking migrate triggers the process to start immediately. However, we do have the option of delaying the process on a schedule and make it happen over the weekend or overnight, um, whenever it is that you want to do this. So you would select your time zone and you, you would select the time window when you want this process to start. So once you make all of these selections and click migrate, this would copy all the settings from the host pool, create a new host pool, and then five hosts at a time, uninstall the WVD agent, and then reinstall it and register it to the new destination host pool. Now, 
there is another way that you can access this migrate button. So there is a button here called migrate to arm. But also if you go into any of the tenants and you look at a specific host pool, for example, let's take our sales and marketing host pool and we'll see that there is also an option under the host pool itself, under the actions menu called migrate to arm. If we choose that, we no longer need to select what our source host pool is because we know we will select our uh, workspace here. We will select uh, a host pool name and this this time I want to call it you know sales desktops instead of calling it sales and marketing, for example. I want to copy my assignments and not migrate the VMs. Once I click migrate, this is going to begin the process. And this part of the process is actually pretty quick. It's going to take just a couple of minutes. If you do choose to migrate VMs, that's going to take a little bit longer. It's probably going to take about 10 to 15 minutes per batch of session host VMs. So if you have, let's say, 10 VMs total and you're doing them in two groups of five, uh, you are probably going to be done in about you know 25 or so minutes, 20 to 25 minutes in terms of migrating those session host VMs from the classic WVD host pool to the ARM one. So now you can see I've been moved over to the dynamic host pools under workspaces, which is WVD ARM. And you will see I now have my new sales desktop created right here. All of my image settings are selected. My auto scale is turned off just like it was before. You can see I have no hosts because I did not migrate any hosts at this time. And right now the migration process is running. Um, it is just completed and now it's running the user assignment process. We can click on details and check uh, what is going on. You can see that there's currently 13 users that were assigned uh, to the original uh, host pool. And now it looks like that's done. And we now have user assignments on this desktop as well. If there are any invalid assignments in the source host pool, it will automatically detect them and skip. So for example, in this case, we had a user that was no longer found in Active Directory, in which case that user was skipped. So even though we started with 13 users, we ended up with 12 users being assigned. And that is the way you can easily migrate your WVD Classic environment into WVD ARM with just a few clicks of a button completely automatically without having to do any PowerShell or, or any work on the hosts themselves. Hope you found this useful and I'm looking forward to seeing you in future videos.